So I wanted to quickly show cost multiplication for my advanced EMT students. To, to way, or the way to make this work is you have to have the same units on the top and the bottom on both sides. So I have A's on the top and B's on the bottom. And once you do that, you simply multiply one side B to A and then the other side B to the A, and that is cross multiplication. So if I look at it with some units, I have milligrams on the top and milliliters on the bottom, and I would cross multiply. And now rearranging that so I can see it a little bit better. A and D on one side, C and B on the other, and then I simply do the math. So looking at it with some numbers, I have this question of milliliters. I don't know how many milliliters I need for this, and I could probably just do this in my head, but I wanted to give you some numbers. So here I cross multiply, 10 multiplied by the question mark and five multiplied by the 20. So if I rearrange that, I have 10 multiplied by the question mark and five multiplied by 20. Again, I need to rearrange so I can get my milliliters all by themselves. So I'm gonna take my milligrams and move it over here. So to do that, I have five milligrams multiplied by 20 milliliters divided by 10 milligrams. Now, if I want to be tactical about this, my unit, since I have milligrams on top and milligrams on bottom, will cancel. So I could cross those out and they would cancel and that would then leave me with milliliters, which is what I need to figure out. So when I do the math, five times 20 divided by 10 is simply 10 milliliters. And that's all cross multiplication is. So, uh, we're gonna give you a bunch of problems to, to practice with and good luck.